everyone! It's day 4! And this is my Health in Bite Size. My name is Penny. And ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin, di ba, ang topic natin is belly fat. And we've said yesterday that one of the ways in order to really avoid getting a huge midsection, yung bilbeli, yung, hindi, yung belly fat, yung ating visceral fat, is to avoid eating 3 hours before bedtime. You know, why is that? Eto yan, di ba? We've all done it. All of us are guilty about this, you know? After a long day, pagod ka, or kahit nasa bahay ka lang, work from home ka, di ba? Mga around 9 or 10 p.m., gusto ko pang kumain para kasing reward lang, di ba? And for the most part, reward and we sarili mo with something like sweet, dessert, di ba? Cake, ice cream, na pag kinain mo, sobrang sarap na pakiramdam mo after. Pero you know what? That's really bad because that's a highly processed food and that's what we normally choose for a reward for something like that at a time like that, di ba? Kasi while it's, number one is highly processed, what you eat matters as much as when you eat it kung kailan mo siya kinakain. Now, ito yan. If you eat the same kind of like cake, morning, noon, and night, yung blood sugar mo won't rise the same way. If you eat cake in the morning, mas hindi ganun kataas yung blood sugar spike mo. Now, if you eat it in the afternoon, hindi rin ganun kasing taas yung blood sugar spike mo. But if you eat it, mga 3 hours before bedtime, mas mataas talaga yung blood sugar spike mo. So, and it's very dangerous. Why? What's happening kaya inside our body whenever we eat at night? Ito yan, yung melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone that signals our body to wind down and get prepared to go to sleep. Now, ito yan, one of the, re one of the organs that it stops aside from the whole body winding down. The, one of the important things that uh, it, uh, melatonin uh, tells to, to shut down is the pancreas, the one that releases insulin. So, when you eat that highly, you know, high sugar food and your pancreas is asleep, it's not releasing insulin. So, what happens to the blood sugar? It remains, it, the, to the sugar, it remains in the blood. So, natutulog ka ang taas ng blood sugar mo. That's why, yung mga diabetics, malamang nag-snacking yung late night snacking, talagang ang taas ng FBS nila. And if, if your FBS is high, that's really, really dangerous. And if you do that for a long time, you know, habitual na siya. One of the organs that gets affected as well is our brain, especially the hippocampus. Hippocampus, uh, it's the one that uh, has to do with cognition and memory. It sh shrink shrinks it. That's why uh, it has been connected or uh, associated with Alzheimer's and dementia. So that's just one uh, the reason why we shouldn't be uh, snacking at a very, very late time. So a suggestion is don't eat three hours before bedtime. You know, just let your body wind down, okay? Now, tomorrow, our other issues why we shouldn't be eating three hours before bedtime. So stay tuned tomorrow. I'll see you. Bye!